There's a high employment rate amongst uh, the Dreamers. Uh, right now, uh, some 65,000 Dreamers graduate from high school every year. 10,000 graduate from college every year. They are paying in excess of $2 billion of, uh, of, of taxes on an annual basis. Uh, you know, to get rid of them, by the way, would cost the American taxpayer some $60 billion. And as you stated uh, just a moment ago, uh, over a 10-year period of time, uh, our economy would lose in excess of $280 billion of economic output that would have come from these 800,000 individuals who, by the way, were brought here uh, on average before the age of six. This is the only country they know. This kind of policy, this kind of deportation makes no sense under any set of circumstances, no matter how you look at it, and certainly doesn't make sense from an economic standpoint. I, I feel like I've read that you uh, came to America at a very young age, right? You were very young when you, when you came in. I was born in the United States, but I was born of immigrant parents. Uh, I am in English as a second language kid, a former migrant farm worker, uh, but I was born in you were South born Texas. In the US. Yeah. Let, let's talk about these uh, these dreamers. Uh, something that uh, that uh, Senator Lindsey Graham said was very interesting to me that they want to do comprehensive immigration reform, but that the dreamers are a great place to start. And I, I showed my viewers this a few minutes ago, but I, I think it's important to show them again. Ninety five percent of uh, the dreamers are currently working or in school. Obviously, some of them are older than school age. Uh, Sixty three percent got a better paying job. Fifty four percent bought their first car after DACA because they could get a driver's license as well and right. get insurance. Uh, Forty eight right. percent got a job with better working conditions. Some bought their uh, their own home. They do pay taxes. They cannot commit felonies or, or serious misdemeanors. Uh, the government can keep track of them. They uh, Everything about them suggests that if you were to build on an immigration policy that for a country like America that has a negative worker replacement rate, these kids seem ideal. <laughs> they are the poster children for the kind of people we need to continue to move our economy forward. Every one of them had to undergo a rigorous background check. As you stated, they cannot have committed a crime of any sort. Uh, they, again, they cannot get any kind of government assistance. They are paying their way. Uh, this is exactly the kind of individual that we want in America. And I am, by the way, encouraged by some uh, in the Republican Party that have stepped forward and illustrated that rarest of courage, political courage, mm -hmm. people uh, like Orrin Hatch, people like Lindsey Graham, people like Paul Ryan, my dear friend John McCain. Mm -hmm. I was just on the phone with John. Uh, I'm going to continue to be talking to John twice uh, a day for the next few days to see what happens here. Uh, I am encouraged by some of those in the Republican Party who are seeing uh, the, the reality of this and understand and comprehend the impact that this would have on the American economy and ultimately on the American people. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.